what's going on y'all it's randy back with another video i know it's been a little bit if you haven't watched my um 2023 year in review yet you should because i lost some footage but i mean there's a lot of it there so check it out it's a good little overview of what i did this year currently we are gonna go i got i'm in the xj we got on x this is trail that just says cave creek but it's it's probably just gonna be dirt roads but i mean it it rained a lot last week so there might be some mud and i just kind of want to explore a little bit there's a there's a spot that i went up to on bloody basin road on the way to sheep's bridge that's kind of cool that i might hammock we'll see if i got time but if not we're just gonna head up that little dirt road and hopefully see some good views I don't want to do anything too crazy today since it's already noon so um, yeah but we're gonna go fill up with some gas and then be on our way all right all filled up uh, it's 329 for 87 what is it where you are in Phoenix, North Phoenix. I don't know if y'all could see, but there's uh, snow up on the mountains over, over off and to the east. I know there's a lot of snow up on Four Peaks. I'm guessing it's starting to melt though, since it's 60s this week. That was Seven Springs area where those water crossings were. It's like a recreation area, it's pretty cool. But uh, I think that trail back that way is the one I took with the Gladiator at the end of uh, Table Mesa Road. So, or New River, New River Trail. So it kind of came out on this road. Um, but yeah, so the rest of the trail, unknown to me, we'll see what it's like. Hey y'all, 
So I just went and aired down my tires. It was like, I just put them down to 15 because it's a little bumpy. And uh, I still got to go back too, so I figured why not. We don't even have that much further left. I just checked after. There's only probably a few miles left, but um, it'll just make for a smoother ride there and back. <laughs> Do that every water crossing. <laughs> I think that's been there a little while though. <laughs> Trace Caballo. I don't know if that's the right word. There's horses though. One, two, there's one laying down right over there. Wonder if they're wild. I haven't seen any fences out here. But they look a little bit too groomed. I don't know. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Little bit of mud up here. Not as bad as I thought. <laughs> People were driving around it and I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't. Then I was like, eh.
I love these trees. We're officially off the off the Onyx road, but it still continues, so um, I'm gonna try and get to this little cool spot. I'll show you. Hey y'all, we made it to the spot that I was thinking of. However, well, let me see. It's about 30 miles on 30 miles on dirt, about two hours. Let's see. High point was 4,800 feet. Low point, low point was 2,700 feet. So we did have a little bit of elevation change. Uh, it is still peaceful here, but the water ain't running as fast as I thought. Just a little trickle. <laughs> um, I don't know if it was because I came in the springtime last year, like March, uh, or it might have been closer to April when I went. But maybe there was some snow melt that came off one of the mountains and fuels this river. But I thought with all the rain, there'd be some some movement, but. I think I'm still gonna, I'm gonna eat lunch here, maybe set up my hammock and just chill for a little bit. It's still very nice out, like 60 degrees, um, there's a lot of like shade trees and stuff around here, so. Yeah. Listen to the birds chirp. X-ray did good though. No problems at all. Didn't didn't get hot or nothing. What is this? Is that a Christmas tree? <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna eat some lunch. Y'all want to see what I got? You like my extra fluids? <laughs> Sandwich. <laughs> and a ginger ale and some cook. Some chips. What are they, cooks? What the hell? Alrighty. I'm gonna enjoy that. <laughs> Hi guys, quote of the video. Um, it's uh, <clears throat> if a fool persists in his folly, he can become wise. So even if you're a fool, you do dumb stuff, you learn from it. So 
I've done some done dumb stuff in my time. <laughs> Coming out to places like this alone probably is, but this is an easy trail, but I've done some stuff that was a little foolish, but you know, you just learn from things. You learn from your experiences. Um, and who knows, maybe one day you'll become wise <laughs> by the time it's all said and done. But beautiful little spot, even though the water's not running. So peaceful, just listening to some music. Watching what little stream I have. But perfect temp. The trees cut or the sun's coming through the trees. snow up on that hill because it doesn't get any sunlight. Shouldn't have did that. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. I gotta stop and clean that. <laughs> Did I get you guys? <laughs> there were some rocks in it. See, I'm pretty foolish, but at least I'm having fun. All right, so hear me out, guys. I've been driving by some cows and stuff, and it gets me thinking. <laughs> what if there was, I don't remember this water hole being here. I'm gonna hit it. Oh, God! <laughs> I think the excavator did something there. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it didn't block me in. Anyway. So it got me thinking. What if animals were as smart as us? And, uh... Like, they could build stuff, they could have jobs even. Wouldn't that be crazy? Like, just think of like a kangaroo cop or something. You ain't getting away. <laughs> and if you do, he's gonna beat you down. Unless you're that one guy in Australia who punched that kangaroo in the face um, for holding his dog hostage. Uh, if I can't find it, look it up. Look up, guy hits kangaroo in face. All right, guys, I found it. Bah! <laughs> he just stands there. <laughs> Unless you're that guy. But otherwise, you ain't getting away from a kangaroo. That's, that's just my spiel. That's what I think about on my off-roading excursions.
made it back to a pavement. Well, almost. It's like right up there. Just uh, gonna air back up the tires and then uh, be on our way. But I made record time, like only an hour and a half instead of two hours, but I wasn't taking as many pictures and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but uh, thanks again for watching. Um, keep an eye out for the next one. Probably be, I'll probably upload this one on Saturday. And then I'll probably have another one for next Saturday. We'll see. Um, yeah. See you guys later.